Hi guys, in this video, we will see how we can configure our Eclipse so our Tomcat server in our Eclipse ID. So previously we installed our Tomcat and we already installed our Eclipse. If you not watch the Eclipse, how to install Eclipse, just go in description. I will put the link, you just watch it. So to configure your Eclipse, to configure Tomcat server in your Eclipse ID, just do the follow the steps like click on the eclipse id and open it so this is the location and uh, you can choose your location where you want to configure your tomcat server so then click on launch and id will open yes so you can add the server like by going to windows there is a preferences just go there and you can see server is here or you can search here also directly server is there otherwise you can search server here go to server runtime environments here we have to add the server so click on add see we already installed tomcat we know who is the owner or who is the founder or who is providing the Tomcat? Apache, na? so go to Apache and which version we are using. Do we install 9? So click on 9 and check this box. Check this box, create a new local server. Okay, then click on next. See here, you have to choose your Tomcat directory. Okay, so Otherwise, you, if you not install, you can directly download and install here. So we already installed now. Just click on browse. Uh, Java server Tomcat. I think Tomcat. That's all. Yes. Tomcat only. If you give more thing, it will give error. So only Tomcat, the home folder. Okay. So this is some default workbench. Jerry is there. You need not to change. If you want to change, you can click on install Jerry and you can change. Okay. So I think uh, the default JRE is some 11, 15 or whatever, the high version. So we will change later as our requirement. If we need Java 8 or Java 11, we can click on the install JRE and we can change the JDK. Okay, if you want to know how to change the JDK, just put in comment, I will make another video, okay? Click on finish. Okay, so click on apply and close. See, the server is coming here now. Okay, and uh, you can double click on that. Sorry, that's nice. Okay, and moreover, see here in below there is server section. Go here, double click on that. If you double click on that, there are so many information you will get. Like see, port number, admin port number. So these are certain port number, admin port number. And this is our HTTP port number. We change that 2525. That's why it's coming 2525. If you want to change for this instance, you can change here. Like, and you can save. Time out here. Like sometime uh, it uh, to start your server, it will take more time. You can increase these things. Okay. Like maybe it will take more time. So you can uh, increase to four, five, something, and according to your requirement. Okay. So uh, this thing you will never get, like no, no one will explain how you can change the time or the things, okay, in here only. And it will not affect the other things. And moreover, you can change the host name, you can change the server name here, this instance, you, you can add multiple runtime environment here. So many things you can do here. So you have to know these things, okay. And how can you start the server? So like to create, when you just create a web application, you can right click on that, run as, and run on server. But here we want to test the server no? just click on that and click on run symbol yeah sometime it will let you change something like that. uh, that's why I say to save yeah. allow access okay just click on allow access allow access sorry allow access allow access yeah so it is started see tomcat version 9.0 server at local host started so if you want to see the logs go to the console see Server startup in millisecond. Okay, so here 
So that's all for this video. If you want to more video on Tomcats and uh, how to add JDK, JRE, all the things in you know, Eclipse, just put your comment. I will make the video. Thank you. Keep sharing. Keep subscribe our channel and stay connected with us.